Hi, Super Spruce here, back on another Distance Incremental video, episode 24, and I've actually done a bunch of stuff on, off camera, not really interesting stuff, just like getting theoretical boosters, putting these into like prions and stuff like that, so I can just get more of everything. It's been quite a while, you can see it's been several days from this, and this is why I have so many theory points, it's over 14,000 theory points. I've also done some stuff with supersymmetry and all that. And before I do any resetting, I need to get some of these upgrades. So there's, there's one triple pathogen gain, it's not really that powerful. Double elementary particle gain, that's even worse. And then double photon and gluon gain. It's not even that much, really. What I'm actually going to try to do is, you can see I'm 75% to unlocking quantum foam. I feel like if I just put everything into stuff that, like, that is for production, I can be able to reach 100%. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, well first, I'm going to get everything in, in pathogen upgrades. I'll get this, I'll get all five of these, I will get everything here. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even care. And then, I don't even care about like, spending everything because you can see I'm already up to 72%. And I think I can possibly, I'm going to try to put everything into this and seeing how, that's only, that's only a little bit more though. I'm only at 73%. Okay, this isn't the best idea then. Um, inflations, there's nothing really I can do here. Okay, I'm, I, th I just think I'm farther than I actually am. There's, I, um, is this, is this just Hadrian gain? This is. Hadron effect, so it, it's just this. So I don't, I don't need that. Could try to do some Pantheon stuff, possibly. Let, let's see if this actually does anything with my Pantheon. Um, can I? If I start a purge run, I can't even get any more purge power. Okay, maybe, maybe I can redo this. Maybe what, what if I just go into the Theoryverse? Um, I just get everything here. I can only get up to six levels of this, really? Okay, that's kind of lame. I just get everything in here. I can even get a whole bunch of path the you know, Pantheon stuff. And then something like this. Get And then I can get a few Knowledge and Higgs upgrades like this. And maybe I can go into the Theoryverse and get some more Theory Points this way. I'm not even close. I can't even unlock derivatives yet. So, I don't think this is the right way to go. I think a better way, what if I just tried to go for Entangled Strings, put everything into this, and then see how much Entangled Strings I can get. Is this going from Parsecs to Mega Parsecs? That's pretty good, and I can, like, keep doing this. So I can theoretically reach Giga Parsecs, but that's... I don't even see why, how this would be a lot useful. I, I guess it's a slight boost to Strings, but... Like, even if I put everything into strings after this, it's not gonna do it. Like, I'm, I'm guessing I can... I got an achievement, the principle of the basics. It's this. Um, reach E50 universes of primary string. All strings are getting twice as fast. Okay. Interesting. Also, I'm in a theoryverse run. Maybe if I'm not in a theoryverse run, I can actually get farther with, um, with this. It's based on, based on hadrons and elementary, so no, it's not that... I can get all the way up to four levels with these upgrades, though, which may make a difference. And then if I put everything into... Oh, man. Okay, I put too much into this. Um, okay, I'll, I'll reset, get four upgrades here, and then get all these, and then put everything into this. And now let's see how much supersymmetry I can actually do. Is this going to be any good? Um... No, not really. Even with this big string boost, it's not good. Yeah, this is, this is lame. Maybe I should go for achievements at this point, because there's some achievement, like this one, no, it has no rewards. This one has, doesn't have a reward. This one does have a, have a reward. It's reach E110 universes in a purge run while in reality stadium challenge at difficulty level 6, and without pathogen upgrades and dark cores in the current infinity. So, I guess... I'll just go into a regular production build. So this means all of these, actually no, pathogen upgrades, 
I don't think you can get pathogen upgrades. Yeah, and and dark cores. So don't don't do anything with pathogen pathogen upgrades. Do do this. Get these. Get all the miscellaneous ones. Get. I probably want something in purge. No, I don't. I don't, I don't even think I need this. Just put everything into like here, and see how far I can actually get with this. Um, let's see if this will do anything. So I need to go into this challenge, and then I need to go into a purge run. Oh yeah, and I need to disable some automation. That's another thing. Auto dark cores and auto pathogen pathogens. So I guess um, no, I don't want an elementary. I want I want to go out of a purge run. Oh, there is there is the achievement. No, wait, no, that's not the achievement. It's this one. Okay, <laughs> it's achieve. It's one of the achievements I looked. I went by and then I saw there's no reward. Okay, well I guess I guess I'll just infinity and then reality challenge and then I can go into a purge run and then I can hopefully get the achievement. One, how much is this? Is not enough? Is it E two? No, it's only E one. E one hundred and ten. Is it? Do I not have? I thought I disabled the automation. Perhaps I'm not in the challenge. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm not in the challenge for some reason. So the reward is that endorsements that are bought automatically do not reset anything. So, oh yeah, that's actually really useful. It's a nice quality of life thing. This also has a reward. Reach rank 200 with 10 endorsements or less. And this is you gain cadavers, launch purge runs, but at a very reduced rate. And pathogen upgrades are not stuck at 0% at purge runs. That could be huge. So... I'm going to turn automation partially back on because I will not um, do auto endorsements. And then complete the stadium challenge, go out of the purge run, I, and then and then I can just try to do, I can, I can do an elementary reset. And I think, yeah, wait, no, it's this achievement. No, I, I want this achievement, which is re, right, okay, so I, I can, and, Okay, so I'm already at 10 endorsements, so am I really, can I really just not reach, I'm at 189. Oh, it's, I'm guessing it's, well actually, if I just do this, yeah, I, I, I knew this was going to do it. So, this could be big, and even this is a reward, this is reach a hydronic score of at least... 2.5 and reach at least this amount of universes. I, well, from 75% to E47, I've already done the second one. And then my hedronic score is like 2.44. So I'm, I'm very close to doing it. But maybe I can actually try to get, do something with Pantheon now because I'm kind of close. Like I'm... or I don't even know what I was going to say. Just, I'm... Maybe I can if I turn if I turn back on my automation with auto endorsements. I'm actually all the way up to 85% to quantum foam, and maybe what I check Pantheon. Am I, I I now have even more purge power and more heavenly chips and demonic souls. Maybe I can unlock quantum foam without doing anything else. That's that's what I'm hoping for. Like maybe is, is this gonna do it? No, it's up to 87%. Even with all this, 88? Nope, I just can't quite make it. 89%, um, what about derivative boosts? I do have that ninth derivative boost, but that's still not enough. I'm, uh, I can even get this to get me up to 91%. It's definitely, I think it's possible, because if I just get everything here, get all of the upgrades that help just production, and then get a few of these as well, gets me up to 93%, are you kidding me? I could try to go for this to try to get some more elementary particles, especially since elementaries are a lot faster now, but I don't really see much point in doing that. And there's not, there's just nothing else I could do to increase just production. Like I can, I can try putting everything into here and that just that doesn't help all that much anymore. That's the problem. There's I'm just so close to it so far. I think what I'm what I'm gonna do instead 
here is, well, I'll get these upgrades. Actually, I'll, I'll reset first. I'll get like five of these upgrades. Get all of these, this, this, get all the miscellaneous ones. I guess I can even get the sixth upgrade here. Put a few into just these. I still have plenty of, of three points left. Like enough to get all the way up to almost max here. And then I can try to go into Hadronic Challenge and then try to do enough that will get me up to 2.5. So this, this gets me up to 2.50 and I can actually do it. So there is the achievement. It just doubles per power gain. And there's also this achievement, which is reach a Hadronic score of 3.75. So apparently I should be able to reach that. So what if I do this? Um, can I do this? No. But I'm 23%, which means that um, I can do this, I think. Right? Yeah, I can do that. So that gets me up to 2.52. I don't really think. Yeah, that's, that's not a, a big boost. What if I try to... I, I, apparently I can reach a hadronic score of like 3.5. I don't know. What if I do this? Like, that gets me up to 3. Trapped and Purge does a ton. What if I just go into Trapped and Purge? Because that really does a ton of everything. Like, even if I go here, um, that's still 10. And even if I enable everything else... I can, and then like, do this. Can I do this? How close am I? <laughs> Nowhere close. I'm not even sure if I can reach E308. Yeah, it needs to be at least E308. So even with everything here, I still can't even reach E308. That's lame. I'm not even sure what I should try to go for. Like, should I go for E1, like like this? No, that's, if I do this, is this get me up to 2.51. Just let's see if I can even do this. I can, that looks easy. So what if I put another zero into this? That gets me up to 3.07. I can't quite do it, but I can get up to, um, well, I can do this. And this gets me up to 2.7. So at least I can get up to there, but maybe I should just, I'm not even sure what I should do. I'm just so close to quantum foam, but I can't reach it. Maybe what I should do, I, I can put all my elementary particles into something. I can try to go for um, entangled strings again, because I was like really, like I could get ar already mega parsecs and, okay, this is still just mega. I thought I was going to be able to reach gigaparsecs. No. Um, what about supersymmetric wavelength? Like, there's the whole accelerons are gained faster even though accelerons are useless. But maybe if I get all 12 of these, it'll do something. No, because this is soft-capped. I can't do anything. <laughs> I I don't know what I can do. What if I just go for elementaries? Like, what if I... Because I think I can now easily get... 5 Graviton boosts, except, does that even matter? Not really, it's just 4 times as many elementaries as before. Um, what about, what if I just go put everything into the Pantheon again? So just do like this. Does this do anything again? And then putting the rest into something normal like this and this and... I got an achievement for that. It's, oh, boom, there it is, Quantum Foam. Somehow that was enough to unlock Quantum Foam. I guess there's just one thing to do. Look at what it's all about. I have some Quantum Foam, and there's two tabs. This is literally nothing. And there's this. There's enlarged Quantum Foam by one meter in height, and one meter in width, one meter in depth, and then there's a new type of foam. What does it even do? Oh, it's this, Quantum Boost. Multiply Quantum Foam Game by 3. I guess I want to do this because oh, there's also a Fermion Boost. Multiply Fermion Game by 1,000. That's actually pretty good because what if I go back to the 3-verse and 
I guess I'll guess I can get this and what else? This is a good upgrade. All these are pretty cheap. And then I can just get a couple of these upgrades. And I guess I could even get that. Um, this is only 30 quantum foam. Is this going to... No, but it's, it's something else. Multiply entangled string gain by 100. I guess that's decent. And then there's this, which is multiply inflation gain by 10. See, they're all, these are pretty nice boosts, actually. Um, I'm, they don't seem anything game-changing, but they seem like really nice boosts. Actually, I, I, oh, this is just terameters. I thought it was terraparsecs, but no. At that point, it'd be, it'd be already universes. So th it's not that. I guess what I can do is elementary and then put everything into fermions. Wait, I thought my fermion gain was multiplied by a thousand. Is it just not working? I'm going to reload the page because this is not working. <laughs> nope, it's still not working, and I'm now getting a stupid confirmation whenever I elementary, which I thought I disabled. Isn't some sort of Theoryverse upgrade? No, it's not. I That is definitely a bug because it's not working. <laughs> or maybe it's somehow, instead of boosting this, it's boosting these, which is which would be kind of lame if that's how it worked. Anyway, I can get a, I can get some of these upgrades. Let's see what this is. Oh, it boosts it by fractional value. Okay then. Oh, it's a meta boost. Add of 1.208 levels to all above boost. It's based on your knowledge. Interesting. And well, this is the best part. 30, 34 times boost to quantum foam gain. Let's see what this. Oh, I'm just getting more of the fermion boost and more. I'm guessing this fermion boost is, yes, yeah, just the quarks and leptons, rather than the actual fermions. You should have just said quarks and leptons then, because that confuses me. And I guess it's the same boosts here with um, integral strain gain, and inflation gain is now boosted by 1600, which is enough that I can actually start... This is actually um, deflating less, which means possibly I can make these theory tree upgrades even cheaper that's what i think i can get this what does this do inflation boost um well yeah it multiplies inflation by even more and then apparently i also have a lot more knowledge so probably i should do like some production things just even like i guess knowledge and higgs i probably want to get a lot of these upgrades because that boosts knowledge game which means i can get more quantum foam like this and these boosts seem to be exponential on the level. So that's why it's so good. At E4 Quantum Foam, I unlock a new type of Quantum Foam. I guess it's just cycling through these boosts. That's what it seems to do. It doesn't really seem to be based on your height, width, or depth. Okay, that, this, is, this, is, this is actually inter this is pretty interesting. And this is the start of the next portion of the game. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.